Good morning, YouTube. Project Lightning back again. I'm coming to you today, trying to talk to you a little bit about a lot of the little bitty things that I've done to the car. Give you a little mod update. Uh, I am going to cover everything that I've done to the car so far in this video. Uh, I know it's been a little over a month since my last uh, vlog on the modifications that I've done to the car. And we're going to go ahead and get started with the grill delete here. It's one of the first things that I had done to the car. And I get a lot of questions from people uh, about, you know, is my condenser all tore up? Well, let's bring y'all on up in here. And as you can see, I haven't really cleaned it because there's bugs everywhere, but it's, it's not like it's all bent up. You know what I mean? I don't think it's any worse than it would have been without, you know, anything here on the grill. All right, one thing that I do to kind of help it out, and I did cover this in the video, I leave the center honeycomb in on the bottom. I figure that most big debris that's gonna be kicked up is gonna come from the bottom here. And these holes are, are fairly big. I mean, they're, they're bigger than your finger. So, I mean, a lot of stuff's still gonna get through there, even from the factory, but I figure any big things are gonna be close to the road. They're not really gonna sling way up here to the top. So then you have to also take into consideration that there's plenty of you know, 13 to 14 GT500s that both the top and the bottom are wide open from the factory. So, and you don't really hear about a lot of those having huge issues with things hitting into the to the front condenser. I figure if you hear anything about, about it, it would have happened whether there was this little mesh grill or not inside of it. I mean, what is going on with this weather? It's like as soon as I start videoing, a freaking hurricane come by. Next up, these OP7 turn signals. Uh, they're LED and sequential. These things look amazing on the car. So what we have here is the light smoke tint over the top of this lens from Anchor Room, and it just takes the edge off of the light. I mean, it doesn't look all shiny, but it's still, you know, as you can see, super bright on the front of the car. And they are sequential, you know, when you go to turn, they'll be sequential like that. But the light smoke really takes the edge off busy day to day in the neighborhood all right in the last mod video i kind of talked about getting these things painted black so i took them to a local shop and got them painted and it really matches the roof on the top of the car the roof again is vinyl wrap uh me and a friend of mine vinyl wrap the roof and it's going good with the black accents this car looks amazing with black accents and i really think that all these cars s550 should have came with a black roof as accent panels on the blue the white even the magnetic it just looks good to have these black accents i want the rtr rear spoiler to kind of complete the uh, black accents and i may get the back panel piece under panel piece painted gloss black as well when we get back there i'll kind of talk about so that we're under the hood for the next thing that i want to talk about up here and it really doesn't have anything to do with the engine it's these pieces right here on the top of these headlights. So Anchor Room sells these. They're, I think, about 20 bucks from Anchor Room. But I had some leftover black vinyl from where I did my roof. And I just went ahead and made them. So they're not perfect. But what it does is, here on this seam where the hood meets this fender, light blasts through there. And if you're a perfectionist like I am, then that really gets annoying seeing all that light blasting through the top of the hood and the seams here. So, put this black vinyl over the top and black it out. And in my opinion, it looks a lot better and I don't have to spend 20 bucks on it either. I did it with leftover vinyl I had from my roof wrap. This is definitely something that's going to be going away. I really despise this prop rod. Really despise it. So, the Ford Racing Hood struts are the ones that I want to get, and those are going to be coming pretty pretty soon. All right, obviously, as you can tell, Roush intake, got an install video on it, and the UPR catch can, got an install video on that. No need to 
spend too much time talking about them again in this video. All right, another video that I did, uh, one of the first ones actually, I uh, plastic dipped all these emblems and it still looks decent. There is some areas here where the plastic dip on the edges start to come off. But if you back on up here and look at it from a distance, I mean, you really can't tell from five foot away. So they still look pretty good in my opinion. And the plastic dip is holding up fairly well. Okay, so I covered these on the last mod video and they're just these covers here that go over. I mean, they're so simple, but it looks so much better with that on. Uh, I'll throw a link up in the description of where I got these from off of eBay. And I also got the one for the back here, it covers this plate. And some people say that it's a perfectionist thing and say that, you know, I'm crazy as hell for wanting those, but come on, you have to agree. That looks so much better than the way it looks factory. And you're talking about, you know, a few dollars for these pieces that Ford could have put on here to kind of jazz it up just a little bit. I think they're, they're really missing out on increasing the quality of these cars, even though they're a whole lot better than the S197 models, but still, I think they could have put these on. All right, so here at the back, uh, these little marker lights, I went ahead and had those painted black with the hood vents. And I disconnected the bulb so the bulb doesn't work anymore. Uh, I really didn't care for these markers to begin with. And now I don't have to worry about them. Moving on to the back here, same thing with these reflectors. Uh, I had some vinyl. And I went ahead and vinyled with the gloss black vinyl over the top. Uh, I do have the GT500 axle back from 2012. I put on the car here and everything's still going going good with that. And the only real thing I can see is that, you know, they hang a little bit lower, but when you're looking from far back on the car, it really doesn't look that out of place. So now that we're up, we'll go ahead and talk about, this is the light smoke tent from Anchor Room. I really didn't do a video on this. Figured there's enough videos on people installing tail light tent. Uh, I didn't really need to make another one. But the light smoke tint just takes the edge off of these lights, just like on the front, on the OP7 lights, it just takes the edge off the red. So they're still red, but they're not so in your face red. Uh, this right here is a piece that I was talking about getting painted. You can actually take this off. There's a couple tabs that kind of connect it to the rest of the bumper, but most of it's clips onto this black plastic here. And I learned that from watching a video on the install of the RTR rear diffuser. Uh, so I'm thinking I, I can take this off and send it to the body shop and let it be painted gloss black as well And it would really Look good. Let me know what you think in the comment before someone asked the plastic dip totally failed on the GT emblem And I had to remove it all so that's why this is a problem. People that's been watching my channel for a while You know, I just got a new windshield put in had a big giant rock chip on it And I really considered doing a video on that, but then I figured hell nobody is gonna want to see you know, somebody putting a windshield in. And then I got probably 20 comments from people saying they wished I would have made a video on them putting the windshield in. So I guess that goes to show you never know what somebody's gonna be interested in. And while we're up here, let's talk about how this, this is 3M vinyl wrap. And I did this actually twice, I'm trying to get this right, but it's just right on the edges here. It just barely wrinkles. And which this is the cheaper route uh, is made for hoods and roofs it says and it's not as flexible or stretchy I should say as the regular 3m route so I guess it just doesn't want to stretch over that piece it's gonna be this clear bra again and you can't tell I mean right here let's see there's a little there's a seam for you but I'd really challenge you to find that seam when you back up a few feet away. So I say it saved me. Do I have some proof? Well, I have my own proof and my own proof is that right in these areas under the headlight, there's all kind of little dings that I've gotten. Now, this is a self-healing uh, clear bra from Suntech. So what did I do for all those little dings that I had? Some of them came out just from sitting in the sun for a few hours, which is amazing in itself. 
And for others, I took out my heat gun, waved it over the top of them a few times like a magic wand, and it went away. So, how crazy is that? I mean, I felt like I was at Hogwarts somewhere, and I just waved the dents away. It's the best 450 bucks I've spent by far. It made me the where I wasn't really afraid to drive the car. If it wasn't so expensive, I'd get the whole front end, hood, fenders, everything wrapped in that stuff because it's that amazing. So just wanted to kind of hit on that. People that are thinking about clear bras, that, you know, I was really afraid of it at first, but you can't tell that a clear bra is on the car. So you can tell in a few spots that you got like a seam here, but if you've got a good installer and there's really no other seams, if you've got a good installer, you're not gonna be able to tell. You're not gonna be able to tell. Like this, yeah, you get right up on it. If somebody's this close to your car, you need to tell them to get the hell back. So I'm not really concerned about it. You back up like to right here, just a few feet away, as soon as I get in focus and you know, you can't tell that it's there. Even on the edges, if you look here, uh, find it. You can see that. Get back in focus. Try to find it now from about two foot away. It's very difficult to even see it. So best money I've spent. What's next you might add? Well, talked about the hood uh, props already or the lack of the hood props, getting the gas shots for racing. Uh, I had a lot of people tell me that I should really go after these uh, mirrors and get them black. I think that'd just be too much personally. I was thinking for a while, I actually made a video on whether or not to tint the headlights. I think I decided against it. And what I'm gonna do is just get the corner tint from Anchor Room. And I really want to get my suspension done, but I don't wanna mess with the shocks until I have the lower control arm bearing and just be able to do it all at one time with the shocks for BMR, BMR lower control arm bearing. And I'm probably going to go ahead and get the Steeda alignment pins to align the rear subframe. That way when I go to get an alignment, I don't have to worry about getting an alignment every time I want to take something loose back there. So that's really going to be a big help. Another thing that I'm, I really need is window tint. And I keep putting it off and doing other things to the car. But, uh, you know, window tint something that I need to get done. It's really going to complete the look of the car. And it's just hot man the sun's beaming through feel like it's melting the side of my face off some days so window tent's really going to help me out on that and another thing rtr rear spoiler i want the rtr rear spoiler because i think it looks the best in my opinion if not rtr uh either the track pack spoiler i do kind of like the v series but the V-Series seems like it's too tall, and then the other option with the Foos seems like it's too short. So uh, I just really hadn't seen the Foos one in person to really be able to tell. So those are the few of the things that's coming up. What do you guys think that I should do next? What are some of your mods? Leave me some comments. Tell me about some of the things that you've done to your car. Uh, you know, something that I might have not have thought about myself already. So go ahead and hit me up. Leave me some comments down there in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe already. Uh, I try to bring out new content as soon as I can. You know, full-time dad, full-time job. It gets difficult sometimes, but I try to keep, keep videos coming and keep, you know, stay engaged with my subscribers. So go ahead, leave me some comments. I try to reply to everybody, uh, every comment that's left on my channel. So, and I'm still recording with an iPhone. I just unboxed my iPhone 8 Plus to get a little bit better video. So tell me what you think about that. Is the video quality a little bit better than past videos? I think it's, <laughs> I think it's 100% better already from just looking for uh, editing. So I video everything and edit everything on an iPhone using iMovie and one other uh, photo editing app or video editing app from the app market. So. That's all for the day. I'm trying to get some better videos. I got some things in the work, works. <laughs> uh, what's coming up next or some things that I'm gonna do. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.